Meteorologists are keeping a close eye on the South Carolina coast. A system that's no longer expected to turn into a tropical disturbance is still going to bring some unpleasant weather here to the Midlands. News 19 meteorologist Aaron Walker takes a closer look at the update on the upcoming Atlantic hurricane predictions. While hurricane season officially begins on June 1st, it's important to remember that weather patterns don't always adhere to schedules. Several factors could contribute to the early development we are seeing. One factor is the presence of warm ocean waters along the South Carolina coast. Warm sea surface temperatures can provide the energy necessary for a tropical system to form and strengthen. An additional factor to consider is climate patterns. We are still in a neutral phase, but NOAA has predicted a 67% chance that El Nino will develop this summer. In the off-season, these patterns can change atmospheric and oceanic conditions in a way that facilitates the development of tropical storms or hurricanes. Our current climate patterns have also influenced NOAA's recent prediction of a near-normal Atlantic hurricane season in 2023. NOAA meteorologists take into account factors such as sea surface temperatures, wind patterns, and the presence of climate patterns like El Nino or La Nina. A near normal hurricane season would mean we could expect a total of 12 to 17 named storms, including five to nine hurricanes, with one to four of them potentially becoming major hurricanes. While a near normal season may seem less concerning, it's important not to become complacent. Even during a below average season, a single storm can have a significant impact. I am meteorologist Aaron Walker for News 19 WLTX. Well, despite no tropical developments expected this holiday weekend, it does serve as a reminder that South Carolina residents should always be proactive when it comes to hurricane season.